I've got a lot of people coming to the, the Glasgow one. Um, I've got a few coming to the, the Aberdeen gig and um, a few people coming to the Edinburgh one as well. So it's going to be, I think Glasgow will be the most you know populated one with people that I, I know because it's closer to home. But uh, So that'll be a really good atmosphere, hopefully. It's amazing. I can't wait to the tour. Do you know that we get to play in so many amazing places and, and where the big stars have played? And it's just, oh, it's absolutely amazing. We're getting the tour over with. Um, you know, the, the tour is the last two weeks, so we'll do the tour and concentrate on doing that. And then afterwards, I'll meet with people and discuss what's happening next. I mean, I'd be open to to any suggestions, really. I mean, it is, as I say, I mean, I can sing almost anything. So, I mean, that, that's, I'm quite lucky that way. Um, Obviously, I've, I've went on to the show singing musical theatre and I love to sing musical theatre stuff and, and that kind of style of, you know, like the Josh Groban kind of style. Um, I'd kind of like to maybe go down that route because, um, you know, he's not just musical theatre, he's, he's also in the kind of charts as well. Um, and I think that just th those type of songs have always got emotion and feeling behind them, which is also great. And that's, I think, what draws me to the, that style more than, than doing the kind of pop stuff. Mm -hmm. I was down in London uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I came back up yesterday. Um, so I've come in and doing a lot of press things and I was on um, the, the breakfast TV on Monday, which was great. Got to see Lorraine, another Scottish face, so she was really, really nice. She gave a big hug and everything, it was great. Ronan, Ronan has, a, has a really good likability factor and he's a, he is a great little kid and he's such, a, you know, he's so talented to be 12. I mean, he's like half my age and, uh, and I'm nervous getting up on stage to do what I do. Um, so for him to do it at his age is, is an absolute, you know, achievement for him. And, Amanda, obviously, you know, she, she has a soft spot, you know, for him, and that's absolutely fantastic. He's, as I say, he is a, he's a, a genuinely lovely little, little guy, and he's so nice. And, you know, that way, obviously, we may be older than him, you know, I kind of did. Not, not guilty or anything, because obviously I tried so hard to get it, and it was also my dream as well as his, and I was just, like, 2% lucky or whatever it was um, to get the, the votes. Um, but, you know, obviously, at 12-year-old, if, if you, you wanted to win and that, you know, you maybe get a wee bit emotional, but he actually didn't, and he was absolutely, was absolutely fantastic about it all. I was never really the favourite to win Ritz Talent either, but, I mean, hard work and perseverance paid off, so I was, I was quite lucky. Um, but I just know I would, I would definitely still be, be trying everything, you know, if, if I was still wanting to go for something, you know, I was, I was somebody out there that, in Scotland that wanted to try it, just go for, go for any one of them um, and do what, do what's, you know, you're good at and what you it's true to yourself and hopefully you'll be as successful as I've thankfully been.